impromptu haul from Michaels. <laughs> I got the Liquitex uh, Acrylic Mediums Gesso. I got the Windsor and Newton Brush Cleaner and Restorer because I am complete garbage about properly washing my brushes after using acrylic paint. Um, so hopefully this helps give them a little bit more longevity. Um, and then I got paint. Um, I got titanium white because you always need white. And by you, I mean me. I always need white. I like to work in more muted and pastel color palettes, more often than not anyway. And for that, you need a shit ton of white. Um, I also got this cadmium yellow medium, nothing fancy, just a warm yellow. And they did not have primary yellow available on the website. It said they were out of stock and weren't available to ship. So I don't know if just a bunch of students are buying up all of the primary yellow that exists, but uh, I got this yellow the Azo Yellow Lemon, looking at it though, this looks almost, almost like a neon. It's got a weird tint to it, so I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I got this Ultramarine, I can't, I can't talk. I got this Ultramarine Blue. Um, I don't know why I ordered it in such a large size, but I use blue quite frequently, so I'm sure sure that'll be fine. So these are all supplies for the painting class that I'm taking this semester. Here, let me adjust. I did order some fun stuff, fun stuff uh, to work on. I'm thinking of trying screen printing with vinyl. I already have the Speedball screen printing ink in black because like a thousand years ago I tried my hand at stencil cutting to make prints and I was using the black ink for that. Um, turns out I am not good at cutting things out uh, by hand and I don't really have the patience for it so stenciling was a very brief blip in my uh, creative journey. <laughs> I did want to start my fun project but I have decided to be a good student and I will do a little bit of homework first and then we'll get to designing for our screen printing project. I know I just said that I would be a good student and start on my homework, but there's something else that I want to do first. Did somebody, did somebody break your heart? That's so much echo. Every night and every day I try to make you stay but you're... I think one of the things that I miss most uh, during quarantine is uh, being able to go to Norebang. Anyway, uh, I guess we will get on to the homework because I have to pee and seems like a good enough time to stop this mini karaoke session. All right, see ya in the next clip. Huh. This is my Grisai painting for class. The proportions on this box over here are a little wonky, so we'll ignore that, but uh, basically the underpainting is done and um, now I'm going to go in with some glazing techniques to hopefully successful, su <laughs> successfully finish this painting. When it feels like I've been fading to the background Don't leave my room for like a week, don't want to go out but all these moments keep reminding me of just how Just how you can't have the highs without the letdowns I will 
overcomplicate I underestimate how easy it is to live like this Feel better if I take my time Just a second and I'll be alright I know that there's a love that gon' find me There's something about that feeling Finished. I am fairly pleased with how this came out. I've never done glazing with acrylics before. Um, and to do that, you just use like a, a glazing liquid. Uh, this is the one that I used for this particular piece. But typically, when I think of glazing, I think of watercolors, which is something more familiar to me. But I think the effect with acrylic is really cool. Um, I don't think this is like a super successful piece. Uh, this was more me experimenting, trying to figure out how glazing worked in the acrylic medium. But anyway, that's one less painting that I have to worry about now. This may take a while. Good morning! This is the earliest that I've been awake in a long time. I fell asleep on my couch yesterday because I was so exhausted. I was going to go back to sleep, but I decided to just get up, start my day, even though this is so early for me. Right now I am journaling a bit, or planning rather. Um, I am doing a load of laundry right now, and I am enjoying some coffee this morning while watching a pro acting coach breaking down 13 horror scream scenes. Something that's often useful is a squirt bottle like this with clear water. This makes it easier to... I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but the sun just came out so intensely. It scared me. Oh, here it comes. I feel like that wasn't nearly as dramatic on camera as that was for me in real life. All right, back to homework.
I am back home now and uh, freshly showered. Feel like a brand new person. Uh, so now we're gonna eat lunch and continue working on homework. And then there's a couple of other things like videos I have to watch online for work work. So let's do that. Give feedback for this, just post your um, grid painting today, or do you feel like we just talked about it enough, but it's at least nice to see your picture. So I just finished with my online class. It is a little after four o'clock now. Um, I have to return a couple of packages. I upgraded my phone last week, this week. Last week, I upgraded my phone last week and I decided to do the option where you can send your old phone in to get a certain amount off of your upgraded phone. So I have to return that or rather drop that off to the UPS and then I have one more package that I have to drop off to the Amazon hub locker because I got some earbuds and <laughs> the little part that goes into your actual ear was too big and would not actually go inside of my ear so yeah i'm returning them because they're useless to me okay so i thought we could have a little heart to heart. It's been a long time since I have recorded anything. I think a lot of what I have been feeling is partially anxiety, but also um, I just don't feel like I want to get up and do my hair every day or put on makeup every day and I know you don't necessarily need to do those things to like create content but I feel compelled to do that typically whenever I film but I think that has more to do with like my own internalized kind of perception of acceptable beauty uh, as far as like my own standards for myself go um, I'm more than happy to watch vlogs of people that you know don't wear makeup and I just don't know why I can't quite get over that mental hurdle for myself. Um, I have been filming a little bit more natural especially since this pandemic started uh, just because it takes so much mental energy to just get up and do things every day that even adding that extra step of getting ready is on some days really taxing. That's something that I've been struggling with recently. I do want to make more content. A step in that direction was I upgraded my phone. I've been recording mostly on my Canon camera and my iPhone 8 plus but now that I've upgraded to the iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, the camera quality is just above and beyond what I was working with with the iPhone 8 and it's getting me really excited about being able to shoot like paint with me videos and studio vlogs and I think something that I would like to do moving forward is to be able to just put out content shamelessly um I do <laughs> I do enjoy being in the spotlight. I enjoy certain formats of like putting myself out there and performing, um, but I don't know how to vlog and I don't know that that is something that I can improve upon given time. So yeah, I just thought that it was time for a little heart to heart with you guys you know life is life is life stuff is happening around the world we're still in the middle of a pandemic i don't know if i've talked about it here 
on my vlog very much, but I am an essential worker and seeing people still being quite irresponsible with uh, wearing masks and, or rather not wearing masks, um, especially when like doing simple things like ordering food and like talking to cashiers and uh, it's just very frustrating the current situation with people not wanting to wear masks and I think that a little bit of empathy right now could go a long way like I understand they're an inconvenience sure but keeping people safe should matter more I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm just sitting in my car now uh, because I dropped off the packages and I am back home. I'm probably gonna just go inside and do some homework. That is the end of my very long-winded ramble. <laughs> Thank you if you've made it this far. You can truly tell that it is finals week by the state of my room. Over on my desk, we have coffee cup number one, coffee cup number two, and then way over here, coffee cup number three. Also, my printer is missing. Well, it's not missing. I lent it to Sita last night because I forget what the part is exactly called on the Epson EcoTank printers, but it's basically a box inside where the excess ink from printing gets disposed into. Hers filled up and she has a shit ton of Black Friday orders that she needs to fill. She ordered a replacement part, but it's not going to be in anytime soon. So I've lent her my printer in the meantime. Golly, what else is going on in this room? Oh, just a chair full of all of my sweaters and coats. Um, they're all on hangers though, so, you know, half of the battle has been fought. Um, unfortunately over here though, I was going through my closet yesterday and this is kind of like, well, these are socks, but underneath that, there's a pile of clothing that I'm not sure that I want to keep. Um, there's this jacket that I have been working on on and off for um, quite a long time. Uh, the original intent was to paint on it and then sell it on Etsy. However, I am trying to move away from Etsy as a selling platform. I've started to use Big Cartel. I'm in the middle of trying to migrate all of my stuff onto Big Cartel and it is just taking a long time because now I have to manually go in and create a shipping profile for each different item, which is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Over here, I'm trying to stretch out the elastic waistband on these pants. <laughs> this looks so stupid. So hopefully that is successful. I'll let you know how my janky stretching of the elastic band goes on that. And then over here, we have my 
final, my part two of my final project. Uh, it is an abstract version of part one, which is this piece right here. Let's see them side by side. I never paint abstract things, so I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm pretty sure it shows. The reason why I never paint an abstract is because it's super difficult. So this is a very interesting last hurdle <laughs> to jump over for my painting class. I don't think I ever showed you guys the finished result for this one. But I spent an insanely long time on all of the details on this one. I actually struggled so much with the face. I ended up removing it at one point with alcohol, rubbing alcohol and Q-tips. And it just never, I don't know, I don't know. I can't say exactly what upsets me about it, just that it upsets me. It's probably because, it probably doesn't even look that bad. But it's probably because I know who the original image is supposed to look like and it just doesn't look like him. So I'm disappointed. But other than that, I'm really proud of how this piece came together. So my plan now is to just finish up my abstract piece. That way I can turn it in and I don't have to worry about anything else. And I will have a weight lifted off my shoulders because I will have finished my painting class and school for the year. Basically, since I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to abstract art, I decided to keep it simple and I quit while I was ahead. So I'm kind of not sure what to do with myself now that I've finished my final project. I anticipated that that was going to take a lot longer, uh, which is... <laughs> which is why I've been procrastinating and putting it off. But now that it's done, I guess I could do whatever I want.
it looks like this cat is not going to be centered on this plate. I wonder why they did that. Is this lighting terrible? Maybe I should shut off the light. I don't think I did that right. 